And Richard Southern joins us now with some of the day's top business stories. Richard, uh, we begin with some new records set on Bay Street. All of a sudden, Erica, the Toronto stock market is like the place to be for investors. This after years of the TSX lagging behind a lot of the other markets. But this year, it's different. What investors are thinking about right now is what's called the reopening trade. What are the sectors that are going to do well as the economy starts to reopen from COVID-19? Oil is one of them. We're going to be flying and driving more. And Bay Street has a lot of oil companies. Lumber prices have soared as we... Uh, add to our homes and build new homes that has a lot of influence on Bay Street. So those are the two factors that have really propelled the TSX to a fresh record high today. Banks are another story. We heard from RBC, from TD and CIBC today. All three of those banks reported better than expected earnings. They have been making money hand over fist during the pandemic. Royal Bank said its second quarter profit soared to just over $4 billion. TD's profit more than doubled from a year ago to $3.7 billion. And CIBC's $1.6 billion profit is more than three times what it was a year ago at the beginning of the pandemic. So all of a sudden, Eric, and things are going pretty good at the corner of King and Bay. All right, and Elon Musk seems to be involved in everything these days, Richard. This time, he's trying to solve traffic jams. I know, he's a bit overexposed, <laughs> don't you think? It's like, all right, Elon. Calm down. Yeah, this SNL is, was it. <laughs> SNL was the maybe the jumping of the shark, but this is pretty neat. He has an, a company called The Boring Company, and it aims to get rid of traffic jams by building tunnels under the street. And this is their first experiment we're looking at here. It's in Las Vegas. And what they've done, they built a tunnel under the Las Vegas Convention Center with three stops in it. So passengers climb into Teslas and they are driven through the tunnel and it turns what was a 45 minute walk into a two minute car trip. Some of the testers in these cars though said it was very inefficient. They had to wait for the cars. The cars were log jammed. Uh, Musk's ultimate goal with this though is to have autonomous sleds that would rocket cars through these tunnels at high speed. So who knows, maybe that's our ultimate fix eventually to the DVP in the 401, yeah. Erica, who knows? <laughs> interesting, interesting. Okay, and finally, the pandemic has dealt a big blow to coffee shops, but there is one thing that's still driving customers into their local Starbucks. Uh, and one thing that the baristas are not happy about, it's complicated drink orders. You don't get those, right, Erica? You I don't, don't know. Mine is very simple. It's like a vanilla latte. That's it. Easy peasy, yeah. right? But now people are looking at TikTok videos that highlight these really complicated drinks and the secret menu items. And some of the Starbucks baristas telling the Guardian newspaper that they just can't keep up with these super complicated drinks. They tell the paper that their pay is too low for what's become more intense work. Starbucks doesn't limit the number of modifications you can make to a drink order. In fact, we were talking about this not long ago, a Starbucks barista fired in Los Angeles this May after complaining uh, online about a customer's frappuccino, which included 13 specific modifications. It all adds to a big backlog in the stores. So be kind to your Keep baristas. I guess if you're ordering a complicated drink, well, tip them too, right, Erica? Yes, definitely, because they're taking extra time to make sure your drink is perfect. 100%.